It's been a while, isn't it? I feel like it's been a while. Do you think it's been a while? Do you feel like it's been a while? I think it's been a while. Let's get back into it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Patreon. And you... And I'll put my handles down below and over there. Over there. I don't know what that was. Anyway, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions. You can fast track reactions, become a reaction. There's special roles on my Discord server. And you have access to patron exclusive videos, including my Vocal Anatomy 101 series. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, my Discord is absolutely full of suggestions for BTS. And this one I get in the comments quite a lot. It is Your Eyes Tell. So... Let's go and see what my ears tell. Ha ha ha, that was the worst pun. I feel bad. Okay, I'm stopping very, very quickly, so I apologise. This is John Cook, if I'm not mistaken, and he is starting with that beautiful, clean sound that he is so well known for, but he's kind of starting with a bit of a creak. Now, I wouldn't say fry, because fry is more, ah, like that. You get like a little bit more of the bubbling sound. It's more like a, ah, ah. Like, think if somebody said, does this look good on me? And it's the most like hideous thing you've ever seen in your life, and you go, eh. It's like that. It's not quite a fry to start. It's more of a creak. Um, and that kind of gives it this really lovely, almost like a sleepy energy is what I'm picking up from this. Um, very, very nice. The thyroid cartilage is vertical, which is where it would be in speech. So you're getting this real authentic connectivity from this phrase. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> I knew that was V before that I'd even seen who it had gone to. His voice is so distinct. Like, to me, it's on a par with Jimin's. Um, I know which one I am listening to when I hear it, uh, obviously. Again, this is like a high note on a low larynx. So you get this kind of almost like a space feeling in the back of your pharynx. And I feel like that is where he is most comfortable singing. Everything comes off of that sound. Um, there's a little bit of nasality in there, but because the larynx is dropped, it's much fuller sounding. And I think that's what gives him that unique sound. Beautiful. And there's Jin. That was a nasal sound. So if you listen to uh, V first and then Jin, you'll hear the difference in that tone. It's right up here in his kind of nasal passages. Now that's down to the velum, which some people call the soft palate. Um, if you bring that right down on a sound, then it closes off the oral passage. But if you bring it just away from the back of your tongue, but not so high that it goes to the back of your pharynx, you get that mix, which is a nasalized sound. If you were to pinch your nose, you'd get a little bit of the tone coming in and out. Like that. Um, I'm not gonna pinch Jin's nose, but if I did, that's what would happen. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. I love that they've all got their own little vocal identities and uh, they're so distinct, but they blend really well together. Uh, lovely. Ok, 
okay, so Jungkook and Jimin shared that line there, or that chorus, I suppose. This is straight up head voice. Anyone that says this is falsetto is lying to you. <laughs> and I, I've explained it in other videos, but I'll do it again very quickly here. So when we go into falsetto, the actual recipe for falsetto, the vocal folds rock up and back at the point of the arotenoids, which open your vocal folds, and they hold them stiff. So they can't close and they can't vibrate as they would in, say, like your chest or your head, where they are together the whole time. Now, one indicator of whether you're in falsetto or not is that you cannot get louder. And both of these sounds were projected. They went in a crescendo. So we know that that's connected onto, say, their, like, main voice, their chest into their head. Uh up there <laughs> doesn't connect so falsetto does not do well down the range and it's also impossible to get louder so i know these guys are in head voice that might have been a wee bit too long-winded but lovely beautiful tone in their head voice <laughs> That was really nice. This was very, very um, informal. The thyroid cartilage again is vertical. You would expect that with rap, though. So that was um, so that was no surprise. Tiny bit of dropped larynx here to kind of get that sound a little bit more grounded. It came from here which I think if you were to speak, it would rise just a touch. So the fact that he knows to drop his larynx to get just a little bit more smoke and a little bit more depth out of his voice is very, very good. Let's keep going. So Sugar was kind of like sing rapping in that higher larynx that I was talking about that J-Hope wasn't doing. So he dropped his a touch to get a bit of a deeper, smokier tone. Sugar lifted his a touch to get a brighter sound, a little bit more kind of optimism, if you like. It's got a little bit more of a bright energy to it. So you can see you don't have to uh, be full on singing in order to employ these vocal uh, techniques. You can use them in speech, you can use them in rap, you can use them wherever throughout the board. Amaze balls. Oh, sorry for swearing. Jimin's voice, again, it's just so, so distinct. Um, I think I described this the last time as like he's pointing all of the sound towards his uvula, like the dangly bit in the back of your throat. So it's almost like the tone is continually swimming around his like face. It's not projected really. It's quite far back placed in his mask. So you get that kind of turn and that's where that little cry comes from. But if you direct everything towards that point in your uvula, you might get on your way to sounding a little bit more like Jimin. Um, it's quite nasal, it's very bright, but it's got a gentle energy that isn't too piercing. It's just very, very good. Very good. Now what's funny is the difference in Jungkook and Jimin's chorus versus V and Jin's is V and Jin have real kind of clunks between their registers. So when they went out of their head voice into their more chesty voice through a passaggio, which is one register to another, you really heard that change in their voice. A lot more force kind of popped through, whereas the other two have a brighter kind of energy to their sound. So they can kind of pull that thinner fold phonation further down their range. They're more comfortable up here. These guys seem to be more comfortable down here. Very, very good. So we've had RM now. 
RM kind of sits between um, J-Hope and Sugar in this song at least, in that his voice is kind of taken down just a touch, but not really enough to have that kind of depth that J-Hope kind of got, and definitely not as bright as Sugar had, so it sits in between. It's very, very, very speech-like. He just sounds like he's speaking at you. And that's a very, very powerful tool. If you love these guys, and a lot of people do, if you feel like they're speaking directly to you, then that will just grab you. So it's a very, very, I keep saying very, very. So it's a very, very useful tool to have in your tool belt. Nice. Do you know what I want? Do you know what I want? I want harmonies. I would love to hear at least four of them at once singing four-part harmonies. I think they would rock that down. Think of all those different tones, but kind of similar at the same time. You know, you could have V sitting in the bottom edge, then up to Jin, then Jungkook, then Jimin. It would blend so beautifully. Somebody get me in touch with BTS and I'm gonna map out some harmonies for them. <laughs> They are killing it. Really, really good. So that is a really thick sounding uh, high note there. When we thin our folds out, they get lighter. The sound is less kind of projected. So I think he's doing here is getting up to that note and then he's trying to thicken up on that and he's using anchors to get there. So those are muscle groups that support the larynx. The big muscles doing all the hard work so the little muscles don't have to work as hard. It's our pecs, our lats, our quads, our sternocleidomastoid, our occipital muscles, muscles inside the velum, all these muscles come together to make this big support system for the little larynx so that it doesn't have to thrash so hard to get up to these high notes. And I, I imagine that's what he's employing to get there. But the, the crystal clarity of that sound is fantastic. <laughs> Everything that I just said about Jimmy and I would also apply to Jin. <laughs> just so I don't have to say all of that again. <laughs> That was wonderful. A little tiny bit to add on to the end of that is that you're allowing that air to kind of blast through before your folds come together. It's almost like you're expelling extra air in order to get that sound. So it's one of the few times I'd say maybe tank a little bit of extra breath. And that will kind of carry through. You want to push the breath to the point where it almost pops into the sound, if that makes sense. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me, and how are we gonna buy this one? Is that like high note, I suppose? Ooh, danger. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me, and please like and subscribe. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right notes. It's probably flat as a pancake, but who cares? Bye.